Hi. If you're using a crop sensor DSLR and you've had it Astro modified and you want to start using a duo band or tri band or even quad band nowadays filter or you're looking at the clipping filters, it can start getting quite expensive if you want to go to the full narrow band imaging. So if you look at each clipping filter for a Canon, they cost about £180 each and they work out around about the same cost as a two inch filter. But if you are using the telescope, there is an alternative, something that can save you a little bit of money. I was looking in my garage the other day and I found, this is 03, some narrowband filters from 20 years ago. And these are imaging narrowband filters that I had back in the days when I used to use a Maksutov Cassegrain and a Schmidt Cassegrain telescopes. And I used to image with a Starlight Express camera. Now I've gone all budget with small kit. This is what I use. And this will be my imaging rig for 2021. I can't really afford to rebuy all those filters again. Now a clipping filter normally fits in here. And you can get different ones. From basic light pollution to full H alpha narrow band. But if you want to save yourself some money there is an alternative. And that is to use an adapter ring. So here I've got a T2 adapter to a DSLR. And here it is for the grand sum of £16. You take an inch and a quarter filter which are often very much cheaper than a clipping filter just screw it in the adapter then screw the adapter into your T2 mount if you're using a nose piece then you're going to have to be a little bit careful because an inch and quarter nose piece would push against this. So you want to make sure that you've got it the other way around inside your um, T2 adapter and then that will butt up against the nose piece. But if you're like me and you just put it straight oh, straight onto the end of a telescope Why are these threads so long? Now I've got an O3 narrowband filter on my telescope and these cost about £80 compared to the £180 or more for each clip-in narrowband filter. So you save £100 on this at a stretch. Uh, an example of that is on my Ascar. This is an old triad, tri-band filter and rather, uh, these cost £80 and I had a look online and they're £100 more if you wanted to buy it as a direct clip-in filter for this. So, I thought I'd just offer that up as an alternative for everyone. Happy imaging and clear skies.